We've just been discussing how important the number 10 is and how much easier it can make our calculations. So, the better we are at getting things into groups of 10, the easier it will be for us to work with numbers. And so what we're going to do today is just practice making up 10 out of two different numbers. So what we were doing in class just now was we were having a look at a way of arranging our little beads so that we have 10 quite easily to see. And we did it this way, right? With the 5 at the top and then the 5 at the bottom. And you can see your 10 very quickly and easily at a glance. And this will help us now when we're trying to see how to make up 10. Let's have a look. You see, if I've got this question, it goes, if what must I put together with 7 to get 10? I can see this very quickly in this picture, right? Here's my 7. There's 5, 6, 7. Quick and easy to see. Well, what's missing to make up the 10? Well, I can see that very easily, right? I can see that 7 plus 3, these 3 here, is what I need to do to get to 10. Now, I get another number fact out of this thing too. Of course, if I take those little three red dots out, I will get back to 7. And so I also have here 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So we're going to just make sure we can quickly go through all the different ways we can make up 10. So we can do it like this. 7 plus 3 gives us 10. Or we can ask it the other way around and say 10 minus what? Well, it'll be 10 minus 3. That'll get us back to 7. All right, so you're going to try these questions as they come up. See how quickly you can get to the answer. 4 plus what will give you 10? Did you see it as 4 plus 6 will give you 10? Next question, are you ready? 10 minus what will get you to 8? Did you get that quickly and easily? That it's 10 minus 2 that will get you to 8. Eight. You ready for the next one? 5 plus what gets you to 10? Don't think anyone would have struggled with that. 5 plus 5 gets you 10. Next question. 1 plus what gets you to 10? Did you see easily that it was 9 more that you needed in order to get up to 10? So this we're going to practice a little bit afterwards with our exercises, just making sure that we can get to 10 as quickly as possible. Let's do a few more here and just see it. Instead of um, doing it with those little dots and things, let's do it on the number line. Because this is where we're going to see quite a lot of use in this. So, for example, if I'm standing at 2 on the number line and I want to get to 10, if I know my bonds to 10, well, it's very quick and easy. I know that what goes with 2 to get me 10? Well, it's 8. So if I take a jump of 8 from 2, I'll end up at 10. All right, you try it now. If I was sitting at 4 and I needed to jump to 10, what would the number be I'd have to jump? Did you get it? It's 4 and a jump of 6 will get me to 10. All right, let's do somewhere else. Let's be at 8. If I'm at 8, what jump do I need to make to get to 10? Answer is 2. And this, we can then go, you know how our number line looks, all right? Our numbers just repeat in patterns of 10, so we can answer all sorts of questions here. For example, if I'm at 16, what jump do I need to get me to 20? Well, we know that 6 and 4 make 10, so a jump from 16 to 20 will be a jump of 4. Similarly, if I'm at 12, what jump do I have to make to get to 20? Well, what goes with 2 to give me 10? I know that it's 8, so from 12 to 20, that's a jump of 8. What about... 14. If I want to go from 14 to 20, what's the jump I need to make? Did you get it easily? 4 and 6 make 10, so 14, jump of 6 to get to 20. And we can do this anywhere we want to on the number line, because our number line has that same repeating pattern every 10. So, for example, if I'm at 53 and I want to get to 60, we just go with the 
3 and 7 make 10, so 53 plus 7 will get me to 60. If I'm at 48 and I want to get to 50, well, I know 8 and 2 makes 10, so a jump of 2 will get me up to 50. Similarly, if I was at 41 and I wanted to get to 50, what goes with 1 to make 10? It's a 9, so a jump of 9 will get me up to 50. So, being able to make up a 10, we're going to see, is a very powerful way to shortcut all the calculations that we have to do. We don't have to. If we can do our 10s nicely, we don't have to count one by one by one. We can make our nice jumps and our calculations will be a lot easier.